Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today, we are gonna be checking out The Fugitive from 1993. I'm very excited. It has one of my all-time crushes, Harrison Ford in it. I already know I'm gonna like it. I, I'll watch anything with Harrison Ford. I've already said that, I think. Harrison, Keanu, uh, Superman. If any of you guys are interested in voting in the polls or getting early access to my videos, seeing the full lengths, anything like that, you can head over to my Patreon. And if not, no worries. I would love if you could subscribe and like the video. That really does help me out. All right, so let's get to it. Here we go. The Fugitive. All right, Harrison Ford action movie. The Fugitive. I don't know anything about this movie, except on the cover he's running and it's called The Fugitive. So it sounds like he's on the run this this woman's getting assaulted here god i hope it's not harrison doing it Ugh. she's probably dead yeah okay, she's dead is she calling for help there he is oh but he has blood on him oh please tell me harrison's not the killer Kimball's wife, Helen, was found murdered. We hope that he will be able to shed some light on what happened. He was found shortly before midnight. He and his wife, Helen, were at a fundraiser for the Children's Research Fund. Hey! Oh, is there gonna be clues? He has a beard, I'm just noticing. I don't know if I've ever seen him with a beard. Looks handsome, kind of rugged. Don't know anything about that. Is that his wife? Thanks for the loan, or keys are downstairs. Richard Kimball, how are you? Oh, Dr. Kimball. You, come with me. Excuse me, I was just done my last joke. Well, it's not like they're arguing. I don't, I mean, I already don't think it was him. You look really beautiful tonight. God, I love looking at you I feel I look like a waiter or something. I feel you, girl. Dr. Kimball, Stevens just went into emergency OR. So Life of a right surgeon. There. I'll wait up for you. Wait up I mean, he looks disturbed, but he had blood on him. Did he go in and touch her body or something? Just pulled his hot gallbladder. Where'd he come from? Lentz's name is on the chart. The patient, but no answer. I'm, I'm listening point? to everything for Have clues. Have you been getting any uh, threats at work? No. Anything unusual going on? He had one guy he paged who didn't answer. Maybe he did it. I was fight with this guy with the one arm. Was it right or left so he arm? He fought the guy. Right arm. He had a cosmetic hand. The security uh -huh. system in your house. Anyone have the coating? Our maid. Those scratches on your neck. Helen scratched me when I was trying to move. Yes, Before or after you had the fight? I told you. Do you own a gun? Yes, we have a gun in the house. Would you usually keep that gun? There's fingerprints are all over the lamp, gun, and the bullets. Doctor skin is. He on lives the there. Nails. She's got the money in the family, doesn't she? But it's her husband, and she did scratch him. He said that. Who's the beneficiary? Uh. She was worth quite a bit of money. Are you suggesting that oh, I killed my wife? That's so insensitive. When I came home, there was a man in my house. Eh? You find this man. That does oh, sound pretty crazy, oh, though. God! What color was his hair? Oh, I have chills. Book him. Yeah, they don't buy it. Ironclad proof. Richard Iron Kimball clad. did, in fact, brutally murder his wife. You will hear a voice from the grave identifying her killer, Richard Is that true? Kimball. No forcible entry was found. Honey, I'm home. The defendant's prints were found. No other sets were found other than the house. He had gloves on. Helen Kimball's 911 emergency call. Please help me. What is she, what does she say? The house. He's trying to kill me. Oh my god, he's probably never heard this. Oh, oh crap. Richard. He's trying to kill me. No, no. She's calling for Richard. <gasps> he has gloves on. Oh my god, he was standing right there. She was calling for Richard because she heard him come home. But it sounds like she said Richard is trying to kill me. The offense was brutal. You will await execution by lethal injection. May God have mercy on your soul. <gasps> Can you imagine? Not only does, do you lose your wife, but then all this. But who did it? He was wearing gloves. He obviously gets away though. He's, well, he's very, very smart. He's a surgeon, so probably be able to outsmart the system a little bit. I don't know, man. Holy, what is he gonna do? Yeah, I'll be glad to get rid of this load. Are these guys all uh, death row? Is this guy faking it? Somebody get it quick! Oh, well, no. He is faking. Oh. 
They're just blasting them. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. They're rolling like a million times. Everyone's gonna be dead. Oh no, they're all alive. Okay. He's hurt. Unlock me! What the hell was that? Are they on a train track? Give me a hit with the hell with you? The guy's leaving. He's like the only person who's trying to do something. He's gonna save him? He is a good guy. Ah, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Ah, it's gonna be close. Jump. Holy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, crap. Is he underneath that? No. Whoa. Well, that actually couldn't have gone better for him, though, because they're gonna assume he's dead in that. Well, he has to find the killer. What the f***? Who is that? He's hurt. Don't follow me. You got that? Be good. I wonder if we'll see that guy again. Well, if you made it out of that with zero injuries, that would be pretty unbelievable. Ooh, it's Tommy up, Lee Jones on the case. I don't know how. Uh, somehow I grabbed him and, and I pushed him out of the bus. He's my partner. Oh, he would have done the same for me. Marshal Samuel Gerard, I'd like to talk uh, to you. I'll be with you. Okay. <laughs> These three are dead. Yeah. This one? No, I don't think you made it. Looks like you came a long way for nothing. I'd like to recommend checkpoints on a 15-mile radius. The only that thing checkpoints are going to do is get a lot of good people frantic around here. I'd hate to see that happen, so I guess I'll take over. On what authority? Governor of the state of Illinois. You got it. Wyatt Earp's here to mop up there. Before you go with Wyatt Earp. I just watched Tombstone. hi -o. Wow, gee whiz, look here. Do you want to change your bullshit? story sir they don't believe a word he might have got out well that didn't last long i thought that would Our buy him some time of every gas station your fugitive's name is dr richard kimball and he's innocent get him. what is he gonna do nice okay I don't know if he can outsmart Tommy Lee Jones, though, so maybe Tommy Lee Jones will have to figure out who really murdered his wife. Chester police just found a blood trail. Get a fax ID on Kimball to every local hospital. Got a live one. Got a live one. You found somebody alive? Get the ambulance down here. Come on. Is this his hospital, I wonder? Ugh. That doesn't look good, but he's a surgeon, so I really, I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna make some copies. He looks buff. I see shaving cream. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. I have your breakfast. Mom, oh, okay. we are thirsty today, aren't we? Oof. Now you eat something, Mr. Johnson. He's not a violent person. Well, not yet. We'll see. Yeah, shave that off. I like beards, but I, I like to see a Harrison clean shaved too. He should have a mask on. Hey, Doc, we're looking for a prisoner. What does he look like? Six blonde, with brown eyes, beard. See anyone like that? Every time I look in the mirror, pal. Except for the beard, of course. Smooth, smooth. Give me a hand. Thanks, Doc. Uh oh, uh oh, that's the guy. How's he doing? Pretty good kind of puncture in the epigastric area. <laughs> still, still trying to look, at, look after him. Taking over the ambulance. First degree murder says a one armed man did it. Lots of friends. On phone taps, we're gonna start with his lawyer. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at me? I'm in a good mood. The wounded guard swears he saw Kimball right outside and an ambulance is missing. Oh crap. Where is he gonna go? I don't know what he's gonna do. Ambulance just spotted two miles west. Of running out of luck. He's not running out of luck. No, no, no. Uh, they are gonna get him in a helicopter though. Maybe he's not in it. Maybe, maybe he ditched it already. No, he's in it. Whoa. No. No, 
No, they don't got him. Well, look how it looks like they do got him. Manhole? You gotta be kidding me! If he went on a manhole, I'm buying a lottery ticket. Yeah, well, not a manhole, but a sewer. Pretty close. We got a gopher. Oh boy. Well, the only thing he can do is figure out who really murdered his wife. Otherwise, they'll never stop hunting him. Oh boy. It's right behind you. Oh. Harrison Ford found it. Oh, duh. Power move. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. Don't shoot him. Now he has a gun. Is that like water coming towards them? Oh, oh my god, he's on top of the friggin' whatever that is. Oh, please don't jump in there. Oh no. I think he might jump. Get out on your knees! Don't do it. Oh my god, that's too far. Holy crap. Put two patrol cars on that bridge down there. He's dead! Not gonna make him easy to catch! He's definitely not dead though, but I feel like that ball might kill you. Yeah, he probably is exhausted, actually. Guys, fish food! Go catch a fish and eat him. Yeah, he needs to rest. But who killed her? Oh, God. Who is it? Who is this guy? You gotta make a plan now. Need a ride. Who's this? Oh, just a random? I would never just stop and pick someone up who I didn't know. Yeah, shacked up with some babe over in Whiting. Your cousin still got his truck. Mm-hmm. College. He drunk them. Yeah. They're acting drunk? Right. Undercover. Well, this isn't gonna be the right house. Whoa! I can't hear anything. My my ear is. Uh, I can't believe you did that. You think I yeah, that was risky. With that guy? It could have missed. Could have killed me. Yeah. I'm gonna have permanent hearing damage. Let me see it. I don't bargain. He doesn't bargain. Well, now we know he's serious. So he's not gonna bargain with Harrison Ford. Tell me where you are, so I can come meet you. I Who's this his lawyer? In. I need help. I need money. I can't help you that way. Where are you? St. Louis. Where are you? Mm, right, right, right. Wiretaps. Big dog is always right. I need money. I might be crazy, but that train sounds like an L. We got an L. Milwaukee's got an L. Hold it right there. There's bells in the background. There's a guy on a PA. Mm, good right call. There. Why did you run? He makes you look guilty. Next stop. Merchandise Mart. Wall Street Bridge. It's six blocks away. All right, he's in Chicago. I thought they meant he was in the current city, so he's in Chicago. Are they in Chicago? I don't know where they are. Spirit no, no, I. D oh my God, Richard! Who is this I need guy? Some money. Sure, get in. Just whatever you got on you. Ah, <laughs> give me your money. Get a green light. Move on. Oh, yeah. Why did Richard Kimball kill his wife? He's a doctor. He's already rich. Well, she was more rich. Well, I want to do all these interviews again. So you guys don't want to use the media? We want him to relax. Try to re-enter his life somewhere. Here is this apartment. Plenty space. Man, he's just like getting a room. He's gonna hole up there till the heat dies down. It's perfect. They didn't know the guy that killed his wife. Does he have a hunch who it is? I wonder. I, I need to hear more from Harrison Ford here. Back at the hospital. That seems risky. Oh, prosthetics. Looking for the one armed man. Looking for the one armed man or looking for files? What's your plan here? This is mysterious. 
If I have my own prosthetic, I'll think like a guy with a prosthetic. So you guys went to medical school together? The class of 73. I saw Richard this morning. He stopped me in my car. I gave him some money. You really want to help him? Help us, bring him in, unharmed. Richard is innocent. You'll never find him. He's too smart. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Okay. I like this guy. Is he as smart as you are? Smarter. Cool, 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 cool. Well, he's definitely got some kind of plan. That's for sure. He's right there. I believe Richard Kimball. Oh, hey. Shane Lynch. But he wouldn't come to me. That's not his style. What is his style? I don't know. Is Tommy Lee Jones going to find him, though, and then be on his side? I don't know. When I came home, there was a man in my house. Oh, are we going to see him? Uh. Oh, that is a freaky nightmare. Ugh. What? How the heck did they find him? Are they there for someone else? That'd be crazy if the one-armed man lived above him. Your baby's a drug dealer, lady. That was a close one, Doc. You better hurry. Come to do those blinds. You never suspect the janitor. Is he gonna find him? Is he gonna find him? He has to. Five, okay, okay, okay. You can work with that. The guy staying in your mother's basement? That's what I'm telling you. Crap, why would he be talking about that? She's stable. Just breathe, stay calm. Uh, he probably wants to help. Does he know Julianne more, or is he gonna just be like, yo, it's whatever? Hey, can you give us a hand here? Yeah, you, come on, help us out. He's gonna work okay? on him. Okay, so she doesn't know him. Hurt the brain? Yes. What's your name? So we're eating oranges and we're making IDs. Cook County Hospital. Oh crap. What are you, a football player? Baseball player? He's gonna help him. Uh uh, they sent this one from downstairs. Get this one in the room for us, staff. I got you. Nice. Good job. So aren't you looking at that boy's chest film? What do you want? I want to know how that boy ended up in surgery. Who changed those orders? I don't know what you mean. Tell her. Tell her the truth. She's on to you anyway. You stand right there. Oh, oh crap. Okay, I was wrong. I thought maybe they might fall in love, but she's just gonna rat him out. Okay. The only thing you do to him is take away his ID card. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm really tired. How's the boy doing? He saved his life. Cause he's a good man. Thank you. Place is crawling with cops, right? Yeah. Why would a guy be stupid enough to come and hang out in the trauma ward? Looking for a guy with one arm. This is Dr. Elway at Cook County Hospital. Oh, so he's got the names. Okay, okay, okay. Right or left? Right. This is Ted Riley with the high school reunion committee. Clive is on our list of uh, missing in action. No kidding. Armed robbery. He's aware? That gives us 47 possibles. Why is that water green? Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of Oh, because it's St. Patty's, right. One-armed man, armed robbery. That's funny. <laughs> Name of inmate? Clark Driscoll. ID, please. Federal court ruling, your conversation can be recorded. This is Hinky. This guy is a college graduate. He's not going to come through all this. Well, what does that mean, Vix? Hinky. I don't know. Pretty I don't want you guys using words around me that got no meaning. I'm taking the stairs. Of <laughs> oh, Sam. Is this our guy? It's gonna be him, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's go, let's go. No, that's not five him. Minutes. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Well, I want to talk about something. <laughs> Listen, pal, I wish I could, but I can't. Are they gonna meet on the stairs, though? <gasps> oh, you got that gut feeling. Right don't look up. Don't look up. Wow, I can't believe that we're just having a showdown right here. He better go. He's gonna follow his hunch. Yeah, he's got good hunches. There's a man in a blue top coat waving a gun and screaming. Stop that man! Let him go! Let him go! Close the gate! 
Well, that's smart. Run! Oh my god. That was close. Classic oh city shot running through the pigeons. Yes, put a hat on. Blend in. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. How would you even know where to start? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right there. You can never find anyone in a parade in a city. That's never gonna happen. Yeah. I forgot he doesn't know. Hmm. Get out of there, man. Is this the one on man's house? Find a photo of him. Is this him? Is it cop? Why what do you want to go kill her though? <gasps> this is dangerous. Yeah, with the hair. That's him. What? Cancun, Richard. Sport fishing. So what do you say? But why? Why did this guy want to kill him? Or kill his wife? Or frame him? They last sent this guy in. Is he on that wonder drug? Probasic. Try to the future put us out of business. That Kimball, listen, maybe he's a leprechaun or something. Some guy in line three claims he's rich. Is he calling? Tell him he looks good in a beard. Do you remember what I told you in the tunnel? It's him, it's him. Uh, yeah, you didn't kill your wife. Remember what you told me? Yeah, stretch it out. I don't care. I'm not trying to solve a puzzle. I just found a big piece. Oh, Richard? I thought he might tell him. Like, tell him who the guy is. He didn't hang up the phone. Where's he at? 256 South St. Lawrence. You have a car there now. I would not be a good fugitive, I don't think. The Kimball's prints are all over the room. I'm sure, it's some interest in these photographs. Camera boy's on his way. We got you, Ralph. How you doing, Mr. Sykes? You had a break in, Mr. Sykes. I sure hell hope you're a cop. Richard Kimball made a telephone call from this apartment. I don't know any Richard Kimball. Let him right to him. The doctor who killed his wife, right? Say I have a prosthetic arm. I must have murdered his wife, right? What line of business are you in? Security. A pharmaceutical company. Yeah, do you mind if I look around and see if anything's missing? I don't mind. He's suspicious of him. Cosmo, this guy's dirty. Want to yeah. put people on him? Oh, yeah, I want you to build a camp. I still don't know why the um, doctor that he knows set him up, though. Chuck. How are you? What's going on? I found the man who killed Helen. It was me they were after. Who are they? Devlin McGregor and Lentz for our DU-90. He knew I found out it was causing liver damage. Uh -huh. Lentz is dead. He died what? in a car accident last summer. Richard. Huh? Can you prove this about a drug? I need your help, Chuck. All bones at the hospital. All right, so the guy is dead. Well, that sucks. How are you? Can we ask you a few more questions? Frederick Sykes, he's a security specialist. You're getting pretty desperate, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't find Richard. Has he been to see you? It seems like we've been over this ground before, haven't we? If you'll excuse me. Sure. Sorry, I want to ask you one, one more question thing. about the photograph. This guy right here. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that person. It is in that lens. Why do you lie? The liver sample. The RDU90 drug study. Last one. 17430. Good memory. Thanks, Bones. Say, whatever happened to that thing with your wife? It's not over yet. What is he up to? I think his name is Alec Lentz. I only remember his name because he died last summer. Thought it wasn't his style to go see her. Clearly not the same tissue. They all came from the same liver. Kathy Beauty. <laughs> so it's proven the research wrong. You think Lenz is the bad guy? Yeah, why not? Lenz died August 21st. Half of the samples were signed the day he died. But did he really die? Someone else must have been manipulating Oh, okay. Us. 
He did. Where are you going? I see a friend. Is it the guy that's been helping him on the phone? I looked every place you told me to look and I didn't see him. Is it Hold Nichols? On. I got him now. Shoot. Oh, no, you don't. Dr. Alexander Lynch. But if it was Nichols, why would he let Richard go there and get the samples? I checked Sykes' records for the past two years against Kimball, found nothing. But when I cross-checked Kimball's phone records, Kimball called Sykes. On the night of his wife's murder. Sykes is gone. He's nowhere to be found. Dude, everyone knows your face. Oh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Crap, 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 crap. This guy can't catch a break. Oh, that's even worse. Oh. Move to the door, Doc. How's he gonna get out of this? This is my stop. This is my stop, too. Kimball! Shot a cop. Does only have the one arm. Shoot him. I know you're a good doctor, but you gotta go. This is your stop. It's not gonna kill him? That's surprising. Guy who murdered his wife? Transit police report off the dam. What did he do? Shoot a cop? Chicago PD will eat him alive. Tonight's keynote speaker. He's gonna show up. Administrative chief of pathology. Uh, I don't think he cares if he gets caught. He just wants revenge. Dr. Charles Nichols. It's definitely Nichols. My friends and colleagues. You weasel. That's my man. Not anymore. You stay the hell out. Arrest us. Oh. Where is he? This is so tense. A new drug on the cusp of approval is Nichols. Should have known. Normal metabolic pathways in delivery. Provasic. Is he going to see him in the crowd? This drug. Yeah. This honest. Excuse me for honest. You almost <laughs> got away with it, didn't you? I know all about it. I can prove it. Let's talk. Okay. That is so awkward. Uh. You changed the samples, didn't you, huh? After Lentz died. You, let, you were the only one who had the access. Did you kill Lentz too, huh? We get some yeah. security huh? in it. He falsified his research so that our DU-90 could be approved in Provasic. Has Tommy Lee Jones figured this out yet? <laughs> Whoa! You never gave up! <laughs> You're gonna have to kill him, Richard. Oh boy. Why Helen? Yeah, why Helen? He's kicking his butt though. Uh. <laughs> no, no, he's not gonna. As soon as you get a clean shot, you take him out. Oh crap. Get rid of the helicopter! Because I don't wanna get shot! Hold your oh, fire. Right. Uh, uh. Don't shoot. This guy ever quit? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh no. Is he awake up there? Wake up, wake up, wake up. They're on the fifth floor. What is on the fifth floor? The laundry. Oh, okay. Our boy's awake. He's in rough shape. He needs he needs a win. You gotta keep the CPD out there. Much too hot to suit me. Too hot, too hot, too hot. <sighs> this is really tense. Richard, I know you're innocent! Dr. I don't Charles know. Nichols! He borrowed your car, he had the keys, he telephoned Sykes from your car, <gasps> Richard! Oh no, 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 no! Uh is Nichols just gonna kill these cops? Richard, I'm either lying or I'm gonna shoot you! What do you think? Oh no. Time to stop running! Saved your life. They killed my wife. I know it. Kills it in his gut. But it's over now. I need the rest. 
<laughs> Taking him in? He's in cuffs. Yeah, uncuff him. I thought you didn't care. Don't tell anybody, okay? That's the end. Wow. Okay, guys, well, that was The Fugitive, and that was really good. It was so tense all the way through, like, the tension never stopped all the way to the very end, and it ratcheted up, actually, at the end. A good thriller. It was a good mystery, too. Who murdered his wife? Who ordered that hit? I really didn't think it was gonna be Nichols. I thought that guy was helpful, and I should have seen it coming. This one was a really good, like, action thriller. I really liked it. It definitely had, like, a darker edge to it. That crazy, like, train crash and everything two scenes with helicopters so good action movie i liked it mvp no surprise we will give it to harrison ford as dr richard kimball he was great he really handled all those action scenes really well and i just was rooting for him the whole time so much you know I love Harrison, so obviously. We'll give it to Harrison. He is definitely the MVP. Loki MVP, I'm gonna give to Tommy Lee Jones as the cop, but only at the end when he figured out the mystery and he was finally on Harrison Ford's side, realized his mistake and helped out Richard as needed. So yep, at the end of the movie, once he figured it out, then Tommy Lee Jones, you are the Loki MVP. Worst word is a toss up between Nichols and the guy who actually did the murdering. I think they can both have it. They both suck and are terrible. So both of you guys are the worst. Overall, this was a really good action thriller. I liked it a lot. Let me know if there are any more movies similar to this one that I should check out. Thank you guys so much for watching along with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.